Welcome back for another tutorial from iShoot Reno. Uh, my name is Brian and today we're going to be going through the basic setup of a very, very, very popular app for the iOS and now for Android as well, uh, better known as Instagram. So today we're just going to take it as if it were a clean install. So we're going to start by launching the amp app for the first time. It's going to ask us uh, if we want to share our own to sign up. So you would definitely click sign up. I already have an ID, so I'm just going to log in. Um, but you could uh, go through the sign up process as well. So let's just fill this out real quick. Okay, and it let me log into my account. Uh, but if you haven't had an account already, uh, there's some things you'll definitely want to do as soon as you create your account and log in for the first time on your iOS app. And we can start by finding friends. Uh, you can do that from your contact list. So that allows you to go in and you know just basically look at everyone who's in your contact list, uh, follow them. Uh, you can follow all using the button at the top. Uh, you can go into your Facebook friends. You're gonna have to connect with Facebook, which is a really important thing um, if you want to you know discover when new people sign up or just connect with your friends that you're already friends with on Facebook. So we're going to check OK. And since I was already logged in, here's all my other Facebook friends. I'm already following all them. Uh, but we want to find friends other ways. Uh, Twitter, you can link your Twitter account. Uh, you can see I have a couple different Twitter accounts here. Um, so we can put all of our friends there, see who we're following, who we're not. And then there's suggested users and you can also search for specific names and users. So after you have a bunch of friends uh, you want to start uh, maybe inviting other people you can do that through uh, anyone who's in your address book very simple so you can look at groups all that fun stuff. So <clears throat> now that you've got maybe some friends uh, you've invited some friends uh, you want to start pimping out your profile so you can go to the account section down here and choose edit profile and you can have a public profile that's like your name some people throw emoji cons up there too to better help describe who they are uh, you can do a first and last name uh, as you can see we're promoting I shoot Reno here so we're trying to do uh, as much of that as possible uh, you have 150 characters uh, you can add emoji cons pretty easily if you have them enabled on your keyboard using this little world button and then all your emoji cons show up there uh, but we got what we want in there already uh, if you make any updates you can always click submit there's uh, some private information you can see all that private information there it's got a phone number gender birthday uh, try to fill out as much of that as possible uh, you can manage all your push notifications uh, which is pretty important if you want to stay up to date in real time uh, if people like something, if people comment on something, uh, if people join. Um, if you want to stay connected, yeah, go ahead and enable all that stuff. So your sharing settings, uh, you can definitely link it to Facebook and Twitter. Uh, there's some other ones here too, like Flickr, Tumblr, Posterous, and Foursquare. Uh, feel free to set up any of those. Uh, you can update your profile picture here. And uh, I don't know why they have the private option. I mean, it's really a social network. Um, private sharing and social networks always confuse me, so I wouldn't turn that on. Um, but some, some people do have private profiles. Um, I think they just have to approve whether or not you're requested uh, to, to follow them um, goes through or not. It's a little strange. Uh, but that's the basics of setting up your account. So thank you for checking out our tutorial. and. There will be a lot more coming.